So the 2017 Kada European champion Vzala Karimova of Azerbaijan is wearing the white judogi. You can see her on the screen. And right behind her is the bronze medalist of 2017 and silver medalist from 2016 Kada European Championships, Jente Fesraten of Belgium. So this is our first final of the day. Karimova in white and Fesraten in blue. Karimova goes for the first attack to the Komigoshi attempt from the other fighter. A good piece of Ashivaza work from Vestraten misses out on the score. She goes immediately into Nevaza. Where, she, where we know she's pretty good in Nevaza. And there is she again with the Sankaku pulling Karimova over. She secures the top half and Osaiko is being called and she needs to squeeze it. And there was very few people ever managed to escape from this Sankaku of Fesrat and well Karimova is one of them now. <laughs> Estrata is definitely the one with the advantage in Nevaza and with Tachivaza. Wow, that's a pretty even. Even mesh up with the Tachivaza that Karimova lunges in. Estrata steps away immediately. was again Karimova with the attempt to attack. Atiente with the, with the Nevaza, but Karimova escaped again. The seeking. Yeah, she's rolling again to the rear side, to the opposite side, and Karimova yet again escapes. Fesraten seeks for the Ashibaza and Karimova goes front. That's again the Nevaza with Fesraten. Not so much time the referee gives her this time around. Little over a minute left to go, no score, no penalties. Fesraten was dominating in Nevaza. The Tachibaza is pretty even. They both tried bits and pieces over here and there. Fesraten is trying to work on her Ashibaza. And Karimova is keep seeking to go for the Turi Komigoshi. There she's again, falls on her front. Into the last minute, of course, only if there is a score. And if not, we're gonna go to extra time. Again, Ashivaza from first round time, and she switches it up. She changes it up with the Morota Senag on the right side. 30 odd seconds left to go. This contest is much more closer than the one was last time. Last time, Karimova was really, really the better player three weeks ago. First round time did her homework, and here she is giving a good, a good run up for Karimova. 
20 odd seconds left to go. Primo Vasik again for the Turiko Mikoshi. Pastrata is on top. Going for the Sankaku was a couple of seconds left to go. And unless there is a big score coming up, we have to go to extra time. Right, this golden score now. In this case, Fastrata really need to watch out because Karimova is the one who attacks more often and we know that in golden score, a penalty can make pretty much will give the chance and that's Karimova is playing on that now because she's pressuring for Straten not only with attacks but by pressuring her outside of the contest area Karimova is playing on the penalty cards there is she again Straten needs to go for a really decent attack uh, is she falling down? Yeah, they are gripped up again, and that's again Karimova, although. They are not the most effective attacks of, uh, attacks of all, but it's dangerous for Stratton. The Belgium girl needs to come forward with the attack. That is again, and this time for Stratton almost go out of balance. Really, really, the Belgium girl is going to have to come up with the attack. She needs to come forward with the attack. That's again Karimova, right, this was on the best of all. That is very clear. Last little chance there. Definitely is looked up together. Might give her a last chance. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be coming to the very very last chances here for Estrada. She hasn't attacked since the start of this contest. It's all Karimova, or since the start of that was a good effort from Estrada and a well needed one, a well needed one for her. Into the second minute as well, getting to the end of the second minute of this golden score. As she was our attempt from Fersaten, Karimova falls on her back. These were quite poor attacks from Karimova, the last two. However, before she was the one who put in the effort in, so... Right, last little chance, they're still, still giving them the opportunity. Karimova is... Decided to go to the other side. Verstraten is seeking for first for the Ashivaza, then for the Morata Sevnaga. No score still into the third minute of this golden score. Oh, that was a, that was a false attack. Still no decision when it comes to penalties. Let's hope we get a positive score here. But the pair of them were really, really going pretty much next to each other. That might be. Karimova is getting frustrated. She was hoping for a penalty against Fastraten. 
for stepping out of the contest area, but it was really just a second. However, Fersaten still needs to keep active and needs to go for the attack. Yeah, that was a good one from the Belgian girl. This time she's going for the Nevaza. But the referee calls it off. Into the fourth minute of this golden score. Keep going forward. Not stopping him yet into the fourth minute of the golden score. Karimova versus Fastraten. Bo they both had attacks in there. That's Karimova again. But Fastraten needs to answer to that. She needs to go for it. That's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> they are both getting really tired. Of course, who wouldn't be when you're up on the mat almost for eight minutes now? Can't get hold of your opponent. That's again Karimova falls on her knees. That's right and goes for the Nevaza. The question is if the referee will give the time, but she falls off the side. Yeah, we continue. Right, going into the fifth minute of the golden score. Good piece of Ashivaza work from Fesraten. Good piece of Ashivaza work. Now they both really, really tired. Referee gives them no chance for a, for a tiny break there. He calls on for Hajime. At Karimova again, falls down on the front. And this was, this was just not strong enough. The Stratton was that straight, and the last couple of, the last, the first two minutes was more of Karimova, but the last two minutes, she was really falling on her front. Well, Fasraden take revenge and she won the under 40 kilogram category here in Jer. Yente Fasraten of Belgium is our first gold medalist of the day.